What's going on guys, my name is Mr. Miola and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. Today we're going to be looking at the Megalithic Construction Mod, which is in version 2 at the moment and it's made by a modder by the name of Mojito1671. Now, this mod... Whoa, F8, there we go. Had that little weird zoomy thing going on, but this mod introduces new construction items to the game and very nice looking ones at that. Look at the textures on these babies. I can't count that many pixels, but I think it's about 64 by 64 compared to the uh, standard 16 by 16. I'm using texture pack though, so that's 32. But um, we're going to begin by looking at the four tools that this mod introduces. First up, we have the mortar and trowel, crafted like so. Second up, we have the stone carving tool, which is uh, crafted like this. Next, we have the iron one, which is pretty much the same recipe. And uh, fourth, we have the diamond one. So we're going to grab those because we're going to be using those in the demonstration of uh, what this mod does. So uh, here we have our first set of construction materials. These are our stone, I guess, variants. Uh, stone one, two, three, and four. And uh, in this chest here, we have our few crafting recipes. So basically, the first one's crafted using gravel and clay, and then you use the first to uh, obtain the second, third, and fourth ones. But uh, what you can actually do with these tools here is uh, by right-clicking with uh, different tools, you can actually separate and create patterns in uh, the display sort of thing. So you can make all sorts of different shapes and uh, outlines, different sorts of weird stuff. The, pretty much the, the uh, options are endless. And as you can see, I've created something a uh, little random here using the four stone uh, I guess blocks that the mod introduces, um, nothing too fancy uh, as I kind of wanted to spend most of the time actually recording rather than uh, setting up a little display but uh, moving on, here we have the uh, next four, these are sandstone as you could probably guess and uh, here's a demonstration of something big you could build, um, honestly these, these building blocks are made for some pretty massive builds and I've seen some of the things people have built and they're absolutely incredible. But let's check out the crafting recipes. We've got our sandstone one, which is uh, crafted using sand and clay. The second, exactly the same. So you just smelt these items in a furnace and uh, you receive each of the respective blocks. And once again, you know, you can uh, chisel away and create, well, not by right clicking. Sorry, not by left clicking, right click. Okay, I did it wrong again. Now, uh, I m might as well explain what the mortar and trowel is for. It is for removing the uh, separations that you've put into the block. So I've gone diamond there, iron there, and stone there, which would make a difference. But uh, by using the mortar and trowel, we're actually removing any indents we've made and uh, cleaning it up pretty much. Moving on to the third, the third set of construction materials. Here we have our four variants of marble. We've got white marble, green marble. I believe this is metal and obsidian. Let's uh, go and check that. The white marble is crafted using two gravel, clay, and bone mill. These recipes are a bit more complicated. Uh, cactus green and white marble for the green marble. I'm getting a bit tongue twisted here. Rusted metal is made out of three iron ingots and three... Okay, three of the stone from the first set over there. So it's a bit of an expensive one, but you also get 16 in return, so that's not too bad. And the obsidian is crafted using stone and ink. Oh, I thought maybe obsidian would have been crafted using regular obsidian, but as you can see, I've created a bit of a monument here. M for Miola, of course. And uh, that's it for the building blocks. Next, we're going to move on to this here. This is one of the new recent additions. These, as you can see, are pathways. And um, here we have a sort of gravelly, sort of rocky pathway. Here we have a sandstone pathway. And uh, I guess here we have more of just a regular stone pathway. Now, the wonderful thing about these here, we're gonna grab these blocks here, is that they, they, they blend into the environment. So as you can see, we've got stone below, gravel, grass, or dirt does the same thing, and sand. And we're gonna place this one block here across all of these. And as you can see, the pathway actually blends in with the uh, smooth stone that, that is below it. It then blends in with the gravel and there is uh, actually dedicated texture packs for this mod. So I'm sure you could get it to blend in with your regular 16 and regular 32 because the gravel doesn't exactly match up, but uh, it still looks quite awesome. 
and uh, over the grass and over the sand. So you can use these, these pathways in absolutely any biome. It actually blends in with uh, the biome color of the grass as well, which is quite nice. So let's, let's lay out the others here. We got our sandstone path. Once again, it blends in and the sandstone on sand would look absolutely awesome, I think. Um, but uh, actually, let's, let's go down here and actually, no, uh, we don't have any big sand biomes. That was a bad idea anyway. But uh, here we have the third one. And uh, once again, it just blends in with the surroundings. Now, the crafting recipe for these, we've got our forest path, which is crafted using your stone and your dirt. The silk road is crafted using sandstone, sand and dirt. And the... Via Appia, Via Appia is crafted using stone, sand, and dirt. And uh, I guess I've just made a few little weird pathways here. Um, and once again, with these trowels or the tools here, you can uh, craft them into separate blocks and stuff, and I suppose connect them and break them up and create different sort of designs. And uh, with the trowel, you can go and uh, make them back to normal again. So uh, let's have a look at what. We can do you get these little circles with that one there you get just a regular little rocky square and then you get a little sand sort of uh sandstone effect there so very nice but yeah that's that's all there is so thanks for watching this mod spotlight guys i really hope you enjoyed it i'll have a link in the description for you to download the the mod for yourself and have a play with it download forge and install that and then place it in your mods folder regular sort of uh installation criteria i suppose but uh i'd love to see some of the creations you guys come up with there is some amazing potential that this mod uh introduces to the game that i'd love to see taken advantage of but i hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you did i don't feel that you have to but uh if you feel like it go ahead subscribe if you're new to my channel and haven't seen my videos before that really helps me out and uh without further ado I'll, I'll see you off my name is mr miola thank you for watching and most importantly have a nice day and i'll see you next time